Hello guys and welcome to the very first video on this channel. I am hoping to provide useful VexIQ tips to anybody who visits this channel. For my very first video I will be talking about drive bases and how you can make them better. First off we need to determine which wheels we are going to use for our drive base. So these these are called traction wheels and they can spin like this and that's what helps them drive. Thing is they can't slide along the ground very well so they're only really useful for going forward and backward. If you can uh, obtain four Omni wheels if you have enough money because they cost ten dollars for two then it, you, your robot will be able to not only move forward but you can also slide and turn a lot more efficiently. However, some people don't have four Omni wheels. So in that case, you can get two Omni wheels. Most people would put the Omni wheels at the front. So it would normally look like this. But this is only good for turning around the back. So it'll turn wider like along like that. However, if it's on the back, then it will be turning from, let's say this is the front now, it will be turning around like this. A lot of people do. In the Vex IQ official tutorial on, the, on a basic claw bot, they tell you to put a motor and three medium gears. However, this is wrong. This is very wrong because most of the time when you see this and it drives, you might be wondering, how can I make it faster? Well, there is one simple way. First, I will need to explain the concept of gear ratios. Now, if you can see, this is a medium gear because there's one type of gear larger and one smaller. This has 36 individual teeth around here, around it. And now this small gear is considered small gear because it's the smallest gear out of the three. And it has 12, 12 individual teeth. So if you can look closely, when I spin this gear, the small gear spins a lot, a lot faster, a lot more rounds per minute than the big one. And this re ratio is called a ratio of three to one because there are three teeth here to every tooth right here. And if a ratio goes from a bigger number to a smaller number, then it means it's speedy or fast. If it's a small one that goes onto a big one, then it's slower but has more strength or torque. This is a very simple way to make your robot move faster. You have a big gear connecting to another big gear which is still a ratio of one to one because they both have 36. However, they are connected to a small gear, which then has the wheel on the same shaft. This means that if I spin this, the wheel would spin three times faster than it normally would, making your robot three times faster if you apply them all here and on another side. Now, I have this very basic robot here with the same design I showed you on both sides. Wait, this needs to be pushed. The same design on both sides. And then just a, it's just a box with the brain. And I'm going to show you how fast it is compared to the normal one. The normal one would, would be moving rather slow. But if you look at this one, you will notice that it moves very fast. As you can see, this robot is pretty big, and the, the way it's moving is super fast compared to the actual size of it. The normal one would obviously be three times slower than this, because the gear ratio on this one is three to one. If you were to make, if you were to have bigger gears and put them there, then you would be able to be even faster with a five to one. To turn on your robot, you first need to put in a battery. The battery is this 
big gray thing underneath the brain. When you turn on the brain, you press this little check button and it will automatically power up. Just wait a few seconds. Just wait a few seconds. And now when it's turned on, you can press driver control and then press run. When you press run, you can set down the robot and to drive it, push both joysticks forward. And then if you want to turn it, push one forward and one backward. And if you want to turn the other way, I will go more into detail about the methods of driving later, but this is how you drive your robot. Just drive it around. And the robot design I have right here is a very simple drive base, but a very good one. As you can see, it has two sides with wheels, and there's a beam with these large corner connectors. These ensure that the robot will almost never break. On this side, I didn't have enough pieces, so I used a different type of connector. It's not as sturdy, but it's fine. It'll, it's still pretty sturdy. This is my drive base. I hope you found these tips useful. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!